Hey guys, Reiji here, back with another simple anime compositing tutorial for Adobe After Effects. As always, all files we're using today, including the character, background, and the After Effects file will be available on my $5 Patreon tier. So you might be familiar with this scene already from the My Hero Agency trailer, and for the sake of this tutorial, I turned the background into a sunset version, which we are using today to make a sunset scene of this already existing scene. So let's jump right back into After Effects. So this is what we're gonna be doing today and I'm going to make a new project and start from scratch so you can follow along. So now that we are in After Effects, we can finally get started and make a new composition. Uh, in case you notice, I have the HGTV 1080p preset selected here, which you can find over here, and hit OK. So, I'm just going to zoom out and bring all the files in here that we need. So we got our All Might and the background in here. There we go. So I'm just going to drag the background in first. And our All Might on top. And what you might and what you might notice is that if I zoom in here, you see that it is very pixelated because this is how we are working in Clip Studio when we animate. So we animate with pixels rather than anti-aliased brushes, uh, which is for advanced compositing later on. Um, but I still recommend everybody to do this. And what we're gonna do to fix this is a free plugin called OLM Smoother. I'm gonna have a, uh, a description link below so you can find and download that for free. So what we're gonna do for now is hit Control Alt F. We're just gonna resize our All Might into our 1080p resolution. And the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a duplicate of our all might here and let me just adjust the working size here and the workspace hit n there we go makes it look a little bit better so um what i want to do for now is i'm gonna turn the top off and as you can see right now, the All Might is not really quite fitting into the background. Um, it's simply way too bright and doesn't really look like it's in the same world. So we're gonna fix that and then make it look like the sun is actually shining on him. So what we're gonna do is actually use a couple different effects that we used last time because I want you guys to understand After Effects a little bit better with every tutorial. So we're gonna use a couple of different methods but they all lead to the same resolution. Um, so what we're gonna do here is gonna add a curves color correction effect on it. So I'm just gonna double click here. And what I want to do is I'm just gonna crank this line down a little bit, make all the colors darker. And we're gonna add another on top called hue and saturation and what we're gonna do here is I want to take the colors out a little bit because in this case we already have a character that uses a lot of warm colors if you had a character that would be using a lot of cold colors a lot of blue or maybe black um, in that case you would change the hue or the curves. Now, let me just show you real quick since uh, we got the RGB channels right here. And since it is a sunset, we want a lot of warm colors, right? So if you had a really cold looking character with a lot of blue colors, you would actually go into the blue channel and uh, go down on this line. And you see on the blues here, it's gonna get cranked down a lot. I, is that even proper English? I don't know. <laughs> Um, but we don't really need to do that today. So I'm just gonna show you this real quick. Same for the red. If I were to push the red down, you see that it turns all the colors into a much more colder version of them. 
but we will not be doing that today as All Might is actually already a really warm character. So we already decreased the saturation here, but I also want to turn the light down right about uh, maybe around 40 like this. So this is really dark and I want him to match the actual shadow as if he was standing inside the shadow and we're gonna make a mask later to show where the light is hitting the character and this is what the top layer will be for but first I'm going to show you what the plugin that I mentioned earlier is used for so I'm just gonna go in here OLM smoother I'm just gonna double click on this again and uh, just so you can see the difference if I turn this off you see there's a lot of pixelation going on here and if I turn this on again let me actually turn this to 9 because I figured out this is what gives me the best result if I turn this back on again the lines become a lot smoother and anti-aliased so this is exactly what we want and makes the whole thing look a hell of a lot cleaner. So we are pretty much done with our base character here. So we're just gonna activate the top layer that we did earlier as we duplicated it. And I wanna use this as the sun that is bouncing off of the character. Well, not bouncing off, but like uh, that is not being hit by the shadow, rather. So we're just gonna make a mask here and use the pen tool and I think what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna make a directional line like this because I want the hair to be affected as well as part of the clothing so I'm just gonna go around close the mask here and now we actually have a shadow that is being cast by the other mountains that would be in front of the character and makes the whole scene blend a lot better into the into it makes the whole character blend better into the scene okay so this is pretty much our base character and what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark both of these go to layer pre-compose and you're gonna get this window and um, I'm just gonna rename this to all might move all attributes into new composition and hit ok so now we have both of these layers merged together into a group so we can edit and have both of them affected so what I want to do is add some bloom because that is actually what these sunset scenes do a hell of a lot of time in anime. So I'm gonna make another duplicate here, hitting Control D by the way. And mm, what we're gonna do is I think screen is gonna look really good. That also makes the skin color look a lot better again. And then we're gonna use Gaussian Blur. Uh, there we go. And crank that up all the way. I think this is fine. And now I'm gonna hit T to bring up the opacity. And I'm just gonna decrease this a little bit, make this look a little bit more subtle. Yeah, that's about it. Let me just see, is Lighten possibly a little? Oh yeah. Lighten makes it look a tad bit better here. I'm just gonna adjust these settings. Okay, 37% opacity looks fine to me. And um, I want to do another thing where we're gonna make another duplicate. Um, for now, we're gonna turn these two off so you can see what I'm doing and turn it back to normal. Um, what I want to do is we're gonna use levels and try to only have the bright part visible so we can turn that 
into a singular light that is being bounced off by the sun. So it creates this really cool bloom effect. Um, so I'm just gonna drag these arrows here. Turn this to the left and make sure that everything else looks pretty dark like this. So this is the only color visible here. And now we're gonna use add, activate our Gaussian blur again and the other layers. And now you see it, it looks a little bit hairy. So we're gonna work on this just a little bit, maybe a bit more blur here. Add might be a little bit too powerful. How about screen? Screen looks a lot better. Screen looks a lot better. Um, hmm. Maybe lower the opacity a little bit. A little bit. Sometimes my English fails me. There we go. Let me just check. Yep. That looks all right. So, um, another thing we're gonna do is I want to add the actual sun. So it helps us blend the background with the character a lot more again. So we're gonna make a new layer, new solid. And uh, I already see it selected a color already. So what I do, I usually pick the brightest color of the background. So it fits perfectly into the color that we already have here. So I'm just gonna do that again. So in case you have a different background, you know what to do. And usually all sunset backgrounds should have a orangey kind of sky tone to it. So this is pretty much what you what you want to do at least. So I'm just gonna turn this off for now because I actually need to see the character. And what I like to do is make a little S shape, kind of like this, and close it off. Now we're gonna turn it on again. It looks like this. And this time around, we're not gonna use Gaussian Blur. We're gonna hit M to get into the mask menu here. And I don't know why, um, but you actually got to close this and open up again. And then you have these multiple settings here. I, I actually have no idea why Adobe After Effects does this, but it, it is what it is, okay. So we're just gonna go all the way with the feathering. So we have a really nice gradient here. And this might be a little bit too much, so I'm gonna decrease the expansion and finally change the blending mode to screen. That looks a lot more like it. Um, I actually don't like the color too much, so we can always go into the solid settings here. And I think what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna change it to a little bit more orangey kind of color makes it look a lot more like a sunset. There we go. It looks a lot better. So, um, there's one final thing we can do. Um, I'm just gonna show you this. We're gonna add another solid. And now here's a little thing. Um, I already paid for the Video Copilot Optical Flare plugin. If you do not own this plugin or do not want to spend any money on buying this third-party plugin, um, you can honestly just go onto Google and type in optical flare and download any picture from Google Images, slap it into After Effects and change the blending mode to add and you're gonna have the same result. It's just that optical flares allows me to have a little bit more control over the actual flare that we're gonna use. So I'm just gonna go here into options and I'll be quick about it since I don't want you guys to spend your money on everything that I have. Um, so you can also switch the view here. So this is fine for me. It's gonna hit okay. And basically this is what's this is what you're gonna see when you just download a Google image and put it into After Effects. Um, so I'm just gonna change to add and you already see it looks amazing. So I'm just gonna change the position here. 
mm -mm, somewhere around here. I want it to be outside of the screen. Uh, and maybe we're gonna decrease the brightness a little bit. I think 60 might be good. Yeah, 60 seems, seems about right. So now we're gonna render the scene. Give After Effects a little bit of time. And there we go. Our finished composited anime sunset scene. I tried to keep it as simple as I can. There would be a lot more things we could do. Um, but for a start, I think uh, for a simple tutorial to keep it easy for beginners, um, you learned a little bit about a little bit about masking and um, a lot more about blending modes. And I guess this is a nice start. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial video. Uh, make sure to leave a dislike on the video if you thought the tutorial was crap. Um, otherwise, I guess I'll see you guys in two weeks with another mm, tutorial video, I guess. I think about maybe making a tutorial about mm, maybe nighttime compositing. Does, does that sound cool? Um, oh yeah, by the way, we hit, we hit the 10 minute mark. Woohoo! We can actually put two, we, we can put two, uh, uh, ads in here. Yo, we're getting that money. Um, <laughs> anyways, I hope you really liked this video. Um, I recommend everybody to follow me on Twitter or Instagram if you want to keep updated on all of my projects and ideas and stuff like that. We also have a Discord channel where you can submit some fan art that we show on the end card of the YouTube videos. Um, oh man, I, I, can't, <laughs> I can't speak anymore. Um, thanks a lot to all of my patrons so far. These guys are a super huge help and help us finance this channel and all the projects on it. And, um, oh man, I'm, I'm running out of ideas of what to talk about during these YouTube end cards because they need a certain length, okay, for, for all the stuff to happen. Um, yeah, but I, I guess, I, I guess this is it. Um, did I forget anything? I, I don't think I did, right? Man, oh, I'm tripping. Um, man, it's been a really, uh, it's been a really long day. Bye!